Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass at Sass, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Still on my recovery phrase. You probably got to see me cough. And um, I'm trying to get my groove back. And the best way to do that is to continue to smoke. If you, guys, you guys have seen me smoke through COVID and smoke through various cough. And this is leftover post nasal drip plus pollen, allergy, and all that stuff. You know, cut me a break. All right, cut me a break. Anyways, so today we're doing this, the La Clamera, uh, La Clamera 8, 8, 8. It has a Chinese word 8 on it. Um, it's a Chinese exclusive. I'm pretty sure other people have a way to get it other than me, but me being Asian, so. All right, so the familiar, uh, you know, honeycomb design, obviously. And inside there is exactly eight cigars because eight is a number eight is a, a lucky number so they do number eight for asian but uh, i think the the release time has nothing to do with the number like they just like you know what let's just call it eight and then sell eight of it and charge people 30 bucks of cigars it will sell because asian people are they'll buy anything and they will be absolutely right we will buy anything which is fun, kind of funny because it says A, but then their logo has seven lines. All right, but let's let's take a look at the the, the box. I mean, it's pretty much just a wood wooden box lacquered. There's eight here. That's a Chinese eight. It's another eight here. Chinese eight. The back, nothing. Sticker is changed. Did a little bit color, but it is made in Miami. Um, and the back warped information, of course. Uh, there is a like a text thing quality label that doesn't do anything because when you go buy them, they cut it anyway. So, all right, <clears throat> velvet lined inside. It was done specifically with the hole to hold that tail, which is nice. So, let's look at the cigar. Here we go, warped. La Calmena 8, 5.5 by 52 is a Robusto Extra with a pigtail cap and a closed foot. It is an um, Ecuadorian Connecticut C-shaped grown wrapper over an Ecuadorian binder and have filler from Dominican and Nicaraguan. Made in Miami, 30 bucks a cigar, come in a box of obviously 8. So, very interesting that, you know, they make the cigar in Miami, ship it to China to be a Chinese exclusive. Pretty sure some other people have other ways to get the cigar, but for me, obviously, Asian. Like, what else could it be, right? All right, so we're ready to go. Close foot. So, I'm pretty sure there's not going to be any draw for it, but let's smell it. It's, a. Uh... Sweet, but a little bit stinky cedar. Sweet, little bit stinky cedar. That's what I get. Cut light. Cut light. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> like, what is the point to have this pointy tail out of the design? It's just in the way. All right. Of course, there's no draw. <laughs> there's no draw. <clears throat> I'm 
I would say that's kind of like a cedar ish stink. It's what I got of it, but there's there, there's like no draw. So, all right, let's get it light up. A little bit charred, cedar, pepper. Nuttiness. So a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of nuttiness, a little bit of cedar, a lot of pepper, red pepper burns. A little bit of floral. Leather. Kind of worked well with each other though. It kind of just in the same spectrum of taste. There's a little bit of dryness too. First, you get a really nice combination, you know, the wood leathery nuttiness, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of pepper that kind of work really well. But that dryness kind of pulls it away a little bit. There is a little bit of weird like burnt plastic taste to it and the nose. So it's not in the favor, it's not in the palette, but it's on the nose. I can kind of smell it. I don't know. And tastes like that thing's trying to become something else. So it smells like plastic, but it, it, it like every time you take a puff, that note just slightly warp into a different note, but haven't got there yet. I think it's to try to get there. I haven't got there yet. So we'll see how, where that goes. So one third, be right back. All right, so we're about one third ish way that weird taste kind of went away the moment i drink a coffee i don't know what was that that, that just went away and what's left is actually <clears throat> very smooth light first of all this is probably a light string mild okay but the flavor is nutty is woodsy is that pepper kind of went down a little bit overall kind of pleasant it's like a light, relaxing cigar. I, I can see why they release this for the Asian market because it's so light. <clears throat> it's good for... Alright, Asian people has this customary thing, culture of bringing gifts when you go to certain places and then you came back and you give gifts to people. Just because you bought the gift doesn't mean they know how to use it, right? So when you buy cigars, if it's like Cuban cigar is good, then they most likely got to keep it in the house and never touch it. They don't know how to smoke it. So when you bring some cigar like this, this mild and relatively woody and nice flavor, they might be able to enjoy it. So I can see why they kind of blend it this way. And it's kind of smart, kind of smart. But damn this price, man, 30 bucks. It's got a little bit of that leatheriness. It's got very little amount of, of earthiness. And the rest is just like that nutty. Like woodiness, a little bit of sweetness to it. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. I, I don't know what's lacking. I don't think this is a bad cigar. I think it's a great cigar right now. But it's lacking something. And it's definitely not in the $30 range. I don't see it being $30. Especially like thinking about how much a, like a black honey costs or any of other 
Like a I man, that costs thirty dollars. All right, you gotta keep smoking this second, third. We'll see where that goes. Maybe a change, but this is a good cigar to go with coffee. This could be a morning cigar. So, be right back. Okay, we're in a second, third now. Didn't change much. Didn't change much. Didn't get sweeter. If anything, it's got a little bit numb. But it's not a bad thing, though. I don't think this for this cigar is a bad thing. I think for this cigar, it's okay to be a little bit numb. Because if you're drinking coffee or drinking something to go with this, it enhances it. Like, you know, I'm drinking coffee right now. It actually enhances my coffee. In a way, it's pretty good. But in a way, if you just got to smoke the cigar as is and don't have a pairing, might be a bad thing. Might be a bad thing. <clears throat> First man. Eight. That's eight. Yes, that's eight. Chinese eight. All right, eight. That's all we got. On the side, it's warped. That's all we got for that. And the last band. If I can remove it. Almost there. It doesn't want to come off. Uh, nope. Doesn't want to come off. Uh, let's see if I have other way. Slide it off. And rip it off on the inside. I, I, you know, sometimes that's the only way to rip this in one piece. Here we go. All right, here we go. La Camena warped. Simple black pen. Get to the point. I can see it. All right, all right. So. Smoke output is pretty good. Taste is okay. Like I say, it's mild. And because it's mild, there's not much change, not much going on other than the same few flavor. Same few flavor is actually a good thing. Pepper died down, which is fine with me. But second, third didn't improve or get worse. At times, there is a little bit of that burning paper taste. And that burning paper taste is like between the paper and like cardamom. Kind of weird. It doesn't always show up. It's there. It's kind of confusing. Not sure if that's what they're going for. But it's going. Mile. Like I wouldn't say this is a bad cigar. But I wouldn't say this is a great cigar either. But if you look at this in the perspective of someone that's gonna give cigar to someone that have never smoked before, that's just wanna go at, go at it the first time. That's a great gift. I'm I'm being serious. Like you wouldn't want to give somebody a a Cuban that's medium or medium plus, and then have them smoke and turn green, right? You give them something like this, and they have some like coffee and just have a minor conversation. The person's not gonna get sick and still be able to say, "Oh, it tastes woodsy, tastes whatever." That's actually not bad. Not a bad idea. I don't know. I can tell you for sure at this point. If you're looking for this video, let me just say this is $30 worth. You can skip that. Go to the end and just skip it. It's not $30 worth. It's not $30 worth. But it's definitely not a $6 cigar. I think I enjoy this way more than $6. So, last third. I'm going to finish this up. We'll see where that goes. I'm sending some of these cigars to Eric. Smoke one if you have one. And I think he's got to absolutely hate the cigar. Mark my words. <laughs> but we'll continue. Be right back. Okay, we are done. Finally. Woo! You think I was going to be that excited? No. Laster. Same flavor. Pepper came back a little bit. Still mild. Still woodsy. Leathery. Yeah. A little bit nutty. 
Smoke cup was still good. Has a little bit of hay to it too. That's pretty much it. But I think a um oh the peppers get into me. Uh hold on. Hold on. And the sneeze? No. Alright. I think it does fit the theme. It does fit its what it's for. It's not for a cigar enthusiast. It's not meant for people who is the fan of Warp, La Camera, to go and seek out, to go like, oh, I definitely have that and spend that kind of money to go. It's meant for a gift. It's meant to have that price tag. So it seems like this gift is expensive. It is limited to China so that people give that gift. It's like, hey, this is only China, blah. So I think that's what's for. But it's not really for <clears throat> if you're looking for something extraordinary, something crazy, something with a lot of bodies, a lot of strength. It's not that. It's not that. That being said, it's okay cigar. It's kind of boring, but based on what I think is for, that's fine. That is fine. It's meant for a gift for someone that might not have known a lot about cigars. That will taste the basic woody tone note. That doesn't want a lot of strength. That will enjoy a gift that is limited to a region that is somewhat expensive. So, <clears throat> with that being said, it has all the quality to fit that category. But, for someone that loves cigars and love all the like the black honey and stuff like that, skip it. Not what you want. Okay, this is a gift. Like I don't know, go get some like you know, very expensive cookie and give it to someone. The cookie just tastes like cookie, but it's expensive and it's regional, so people appreciate it. That's pretty much what it's for. With that being said. Don't put too much hope on it if you gotta seek this out. $30, not where it's at. But as a gift, not bad, you know? If you buy it for $30 to give somebody, you pay that price of gift. And somebody receive it, it's like, ooh, this is expensive. But is this that price for me? No. I think this uh, cigar sits around $12, 12 and a half at most. $12, $12.5. And, and that's including thinking as a gift and all that stuff. Not thirty dollars. So if you gotta seek out this cigar, put that in perspective, right? This is meant to be an expensive, expensive, expensive gift, not meant to be an extraordinary cigar, in my opinion. Quality is good, draw is good, burn is good, smoke output is good, flavor, like I say, yeah. But it fits all the categories. So a lot of time I think about what things are for and what the meaning behind it and why they made it, why the price range is that. But sometimes you got to think that there are things that made just as a gift. Like you go out there, you buy, I don't know, Gurkha gift kit. And we now know how Gurkha tastes like. But it's a gift. So you might pay a lot of money for really just the packaging swag. The cigar is like, yeah, but you will buy it, right? To give to someone. You won't do it yourself. You won't like, oh, I'm going to buy this. I'm going to swallow myself. No, you're not. You're just going to buy it and give it to someone. Right? You might not know a lot. And this thing, the way it's presented, is made in Miami and all that stuff. Yeah, it fits that category. It fits that category. So, I think it's a good put together gift set. I think, not, not set, but gift. I think it's a good put together gift for someone that's in the Hong Kong area. Because that's where this is purchased. Hong Kong area, once you buy that, go back to mainland China, give it to somebody as a gift, as a business gift or whatever, it, it, it makes sense at that price range. But if you're just someone that likes cigar, you gotta be disappointed. But if you wanna collect it, it is what it is. But definitely not $30. $12 where I get. All right, so that will be it for this particular cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, uh, share, and um, yeah, I'll continue to as I recover, record more stuff for you guys, and hopefully you enjoy all of them. I'll see you guys next one. Bye, guys.